these aren't scenes from the movie The Bugs. These are actually scenes here at our studio barn. And we've got quite an influx of red shoulder bugs. You may be having the same problem right now because this is the time of year when these bugs are seeking shelter indoors. Now what I'm talking about here are red shoulder bugs. And you can see that we've basically got a grayish black bug with a little bit of red marking right on the shoulders and red eyes. And that's where it gets its name of red shoulder bug. Now there is a similar bug to this, which is called the box elder bug. And it looks very similar to this, except that it has more red markings on it. In addition to the two markings on the shoulder, it has another marking right here in the middle and kind of a V shape on the back. Now these bugs like uh, China berry trees. Also, if you have a golden rain tree planted near your home, you may be having an influx of these and the box elder bugs like box elder trees. And right now they're basically seeking shelter indoors somewhere. Now here as we look on the wall, you can see the bug that I described, but we've also got some here with quite a bit of red markings on them. Their whole back end is red. These are basically just the immature uh, sh red shoulder beetles that are going through several stages. So what we've got is the same bug here. Um, they're not two different kinds, but they're kind of trying to come in. The good thing about this is that they aren't harmful. They really aren't harmful to the trees, and they're not harmful to anything in the house, except when you go around smashing them, you'll probably create stains, and those may not come out. So one of the best ways to get rid of these, if they happen to get in your home, is to get out that vacuum cleaner and just suck them up and dispose of them that way. So while they are a nuisance, the good thing to know is they're not dangerous to either our plants or anything in our house. So just get out the vacuum cleaner and clean those bugs right out. Thank you.